pantry. And what day is it? Hmm. Oh, it's Cheat Meal Monday. Well, with a room full of food like this, you better start using it, don't you think? And so today is Cheat Meal Monday. I'm going to be using some of my food in here. my pantry and so many people love to see my pantry and I haven't done many videos on it because I'm really stocked up oh I'm stocked up to here <laughs> and I like to use my food and rotate it and so you are gonna find me doing more and more videos of food in my pantry I like to look at all of my food but you know it really doesn't save you much money if you are always buying food when you have food already stored up. And so I rotate and I go through all of my food. I'm just going to share with you a little bit of what all is in here. This is my main pantry, but this isn't my only pantry. I have another pantry, which I share every once in a while. And I do have some other food that I don't share at all. So I will show you. Alright, so what I do is I stock up on a lot of seasonings that I can't produce here in the homestead. And as you see, I have a lot of dehydrated goods that I also produce here. That's the majority of my food storage. And I'm just sharing a little bit of this with you today on my Cheat Meal Monday. And then we have lots and lots and lots of herbs and spices that I also grow here on the homestead room is a lot bigger than it looks it has all kinds of food and I'll step way back so you can actually see how big this room is um, it's full of the china closets are full of it food I'm working on growing some wheat we like to grow our own wheat in the winter time and we use that in all kinds of food so I will be doing a video on that as well and then we go over in this side which I don't film a whole lot and we have buckets and buckets and buckets and buckets of food and those buckets are too deep so there's two sets of buckets everywhere <laughs> so I'm really stocked up and I like being stocked up on food I love having a pantry I take great joy in having my pantries so there we go so let's get making our food Yum, yum. So the first thing we need to get is some green beans. And I'm in my very dark, cold storage. And so we're going to get some green beans because this is where my oldest of my food is. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to get some of the green beans. And we got to get some of my cheese. This is my extra fridge. And this is where I keep my cheese that I canned. And it is so good. I love this stuff. And I will be canning another batch of it here in about a month or two. The thing we're going to do is we're going to drain all of our green beans. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to drain all of these. I have two quarts. And look how pretty this cheese got. See how pretty that is? Beautiful. I just love canning my cheese. So this casserole is really simple. We have two quarts of green beans and then I'm going to go ahead and put one 26 ounce can of cream of mushroom soup or you could use cream of celery or cream of chicken. So this is the equivalent to two cans of cream soup. This is my homemade recipe that I put together when the children were little and they love it. It's one of those comfort foods. Then I have some leftover my cheese, so I'm going to use this one first. You can substitute this for shredded cheese, but I like my canned Velveeta cheese. It's my favorite. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to add another pint of this in. This is not a recipe that is low in calories, as you can tell. This is a very high calorie recipe. This is what I call comfort food. I'm going to take one pound of sauteed ground beef. You can use turkey if you so wish. And we're going to put that in. And I sauteed this yesterday. I'm 
partner lightly, toss everything around so it's all incorporated together. Now when I saute my ground beef, I always make sure I have the lightest ground beef you can buy and also I really drain the fat as well. Now this is a large casserole. This will fit a 9 by 13 pan. One layer of frozen tater tots. I put it along the bottom of our casserole dish. We want to make sure they're all laying flat, not on top of each other. And then we're going to go ahead we're going to put our mixture on top. Great if you go to a potluck or a church supper or any other type of place where you can bring a casserole dish. This holds up really well for traveling. It's so simple. If you don't like green beans, you can substitute it for broccoli or cauliflower or whatever you have. But I have green beans I wanted to use today. And I add one more layer of tater tots. And I'm using a two pound bag. So it will take the two pound bag. And we're just going to layer them real pretty on the top. And how does that look? I think it looks real pretty. We're going to go ahead, we're going to bake this at 350 for about 30 minutes and then I'll show you what it looks like when we're finished. Sometimes I'm asked to do a product review and most times I decline them because it's things I don't think are very useful. But today I am going to do a product review on Kasori and this is a electric tea kettle. In other words, it heats your water. But I don't use this for making tea. In fact, I use this for heating my water for my dishes. I'll show you how you can heat water up so quickly in the Kasori electric tea kettle. It's really great because once the water gets to a boil, it will shut itself off and that's really nice for me. I've been heating my water on my propane stove, but it takes so much propane and honestly, electricity for me is cheaper than the propane. You need to know I do not receive any money for this product review. I get the product for free in order to give it a review. So here it is and we're going to go ahead and we're going to put it on the heating element. Heating element and we sit it on it and we have the little blue light that says it's on. And in a matter of less than five minutes I'm going to have all of this hot water and I can use this to wash my dishes and I'm so excited to be able to use it. You can hear that it's working. In fact, it is to the point of boiling already and it only took a couple minutes. So all we have to do is we have to take it off of the, of the heating element and I can go ahead and I can wash my dishes. So this is called again the Kasori and this is electric tea kettle and I will give you the description down below uh, the link of where you can get it. And like I said, I don't receive any money for this. I just got this product for free, something that's really useful for me on the homestead. And you might like it as well for drinking tea or however you need hot water. So there you go. It's just another product review from Tessie. This so roll's finished and look, it's right out of the oven. This is a great thing to have on a very blustery cold day. I'm outside working. We got to get the rest of these leaves raked up. Have a lot of work to do today. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I thanks again so much for watching. This is one of my favorites and I got to head outside. I'm going to have this for supper tonight and Chevy Man is working hard outside as well. Bye everyone and we'll see you guys tomorrow. This was such a beautiful day. After I finished filming my Cheat Meal Monday, my husband and I were outside working all evening. I got a lot of work done and I decorated for Christmas, which will be on Tuesday's video. And at the end of my day, it was such a special day of working with my husband. Today, we are on December the 3rd, 1942, and we are going to read Fanny Grammel's Diary what was her day like on December the 3rd, 1942? Today, she writes, I washed my hair and I did a lot of sewing in the afternoon. In the evening, I went over to Mama's house to see how she was doing. So, and also, this coming week, videos on all of this stuff. These are my videos for the coming week. 
and it looks like a lot of stuff but it's going to give me about four videos so get ready because we got some really neat videos coming up